Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Commutech and uh, today is Tuesday 29th of August 2023 and here we have an Acer Spin 1 series of laptop. This uh, laptop is a 360 rotation laptop which can be used as a tablet also but uh, due to its slow performance uh, user has requested for an uh, hardware upgrade for this uh, PC. Uh, but I want to tell you that uh, this laptop has a fixed processor soldered over the motherboard and the memory chips are also soldered on the motherboard and this laptop doesn't have any extra slot for the memory upgrade but the good part for this laptop is that uh, it has a removable storage uh, containing a 500 GB of uh, SATA drive so for this laptop upgrade we will be replacing its uh, uh, old hard drive with the new SSD with the same capacity and uh, to, um, to replace the hard drive we need to open this laptop uh, for which uh, we need some basic tools such that uh, an opener, a uh, tuser, a sharp blade if needed and a micro plus sign screwdriver. So after replacing the SSD we will install Windows 10 for this laptop and for installing Windows we need a bootable Windows 10 pen drive and uh, as a user has requested his old uh, data so uh, for data migration we need an external casing to access the old drive and to migrate the old data to the new drive so let's open this laptop first and see what can be done best uh, for this pc so first of all we have to remove all the screws present uh, in the bottom side of this laptop opening point for this laptop we have to select I think this is the point and from here It is broken now, so forget it. Here you can see the inside uh, portion of this laptop. It has a very limited small motherboard, a small PCB, a, a hard drive and a battery only. This is the internal part of this laptop and I think the memory part of this laptop is also uh, soldered on the motherboard here. The battery with the memory is soldered here. The Wi Fi adapter is also soldered. The processor is also soldered. So it has a very limited thing to be done for its improvement. But uh, as you can see, the, the storage is removable. So we will remove the storage. So what we have to do is to remove all the connections connected with this drive here, here is the tape double side tape present in the bottom of this hard drive and we have to be very careful by removing this drive because once the drive gets faulty then we will unable to get back the user data so here you can see this is a this is a 500 gb of um, hard drive and okay so this is the present hard drive and we will replace this drive with the new ssd and it is also a 512 GB of SSD so there is no difference between the storage capacity of the drives so first we will remove this drive casing because we need this casing for the new drive to be placed in the chassis of laptop we 
so this is the drive AC so first we will put this drive in this case and screw it back Okay, we have put this drive in the casing and now we require this interface connector for the drive. This is the connector which interacts with the motherboard. And now we'll put this drive back and pack this laptop back require Now we will place this cable back which we removed during removing the drive. So we have fixed the new drive for this laptop back and you can see as I told you that there is no much things which can be done for this laptop. The processor is limited, the memory is stuck on the board and there is no extra slot for the memory and no extra slot for the SSD. So we had to uh, remove the uh, uh, present uh, hard drive. So now we have to close the enclosure of this laptop back and don't put any extra screw here also and then just put the existing screws back Okay, we have uh, finished the uh, replacement of hard drive with the new SSD and now it is time to uh, install new Windows 10 for this PC. So we have replaced the hard drive with the SSD and now we require a bootable pen drive of Windows 10 to install Windows for the new SSD and we will uh, also be doing a data restoration work for the user from the old drive to the new uh, drive for which we need an external casing to access the drive and here we have an external casing uh, through which we will restore the data for the customer. So first we have to install windows so let's boot this uh, pc and where is the switch where is the switch there here is the on off switch for this laptop
accept the agreement license and then we will move to the next screen and here you can see there is a 476 GB of available space which can be used so we will be making two partition for this laptop one uh, for 200 GB the basic partition for windows and rest of the uh, drive space we will allot for the data drive and we will format this drive here so we don't need to do anything later so selecting the C partition we will continue for installation and here the installation has been started and it will take around uh, 10 to 15 minutes to complete so I am skipping this video and uh, will continue when the windows installation is completed so here we can see the windows installation process has been completed and we are moving forward for the final setup and as this laptop is responding now I think there will be a lot of improvement by replacing the SSD because uh, it is uh, giving much better response than before okay Cortana I am ready almost done now we just need to get a few more things polished up for you and windows will be all you I think it is responding very 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 well and uh, it is better than I was hoping so Hmm, here we can see it has an Intel Pentium Silver N5000 CPU with 1.1 GHz of speed and 4 GB of memory, 64 bit of operating system and Windows 10 Home Single Language Operating System Edition and it is much better than before and I hope the customer will be happy and the only task which is left now is the data transfer it is very impressive <laughs> I didn't expect this speed from this type of laptop with a Pentium processor and 1.1 GHz of speed but uh, this is more than my expectation also so I hope the user will be very happy so friends here you can see that we have completed our SSD replacement process and windows installation process and now the data migration process is going on and it will take a little more time so I am winding up this video here and after completion of this process we will hand over this to the end user if you like my video please give me a like comment in the comment box and please subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel so bye bye